it is my incredible honor and privilege to present the 2022 MPSE Career Achievement Award to my dear friend, Chick Ciccolini. Chick, who loves you, babe? Oh, man. Thank you, Rickley. Welcome. You do. Thank you, buddy. Congratulations. What an honor. I would like to thank the MPC for giving me this special award. It's truly an honor. I've worked in the film industry for 44 years, crossing paths with talented people, many of whom were a key part of my career. I had the good fortune of working on such films as Sophie's Choice, Apollo 13, and A Beautiful Mind, to name a few. In the fall of 1985, I received a call from one of the picture assistants who was working on Gung Ho, directed by Ron Howard. He wanted to know if I would be interested in interviewing with Ron and his two editors, Dan Hanley and Mike Hill. I was thrilled to be considered. So I went to their cutting room in Connecticut. Unlike most cutting rooms, this had a real homey feel. They brought me into their living room for the meeting. Everyone there was pleasant. They made me feel comfortable and relaxed, or so I thought. After exchanging pleasantries and telling Ron that I was a big fan of his growing up watching The Andy Griffith Show, we got down to business. I began by saying that my job would entail bringing Ron's vision of sound to his film, always keeping in mind that dialogue, music, and sound effects are all very important in that order. Unaware of my actions, all of the people at the meeting were watching me intently. I felt really good about what I was saying and believed I was hitting all the valid points of a supervisor. All the while, in my nervousness, I was rubbing my chest with both hands. It didn't even dawn on me what I was doing. After the interview, we again exchanged pleasantries and I was off to work in New York. About a week later, I got a call from Dan Hanley, one of the picture editors who told me that I had the job if I wanted. There was no hesitation to my answer. It was absolutely yes. After thanking him for choosing me, I was curious to know what the deciding factor was in their decision to choose me over the other talented supervisors. Dan very simply said, we like a guy who's in touch with himself. Not quite getting the pun, later Dan proceeded to mimic me, at which point I got it. On several future interviews for other films, I was often asked how I hooked up with Ron, and I would tell them that story. Looking at the expressions on their faces was priceless, and often I was awarded the job because of it. I worked with Ron, Dan, and Mike on and off for 28 years, working on such films as Parenthood, Far and Away, The Paper, Apollo 13, who I co-supervised with Steve Flick, Ransom, Ed TV, A Beautiful Mind, The Missing, and Cinderella Man. Then in 2005, Ron was planning to direct The Da Vinci Code and finishing it in Los Angeles. I told him I would love to work on it. So he said, then come out, and I did. Along with my effects editor, Danny Pagan, my assistant, Lynn Sable, my ADR supervisor, Deborah Wallach, and her assistant, Angela Organ. All of the other members of our sound crew were LA editors and assistants. They were great. Those last eight years before retiring were the best times of my career. My speech would not be complete, however, without mentioning my father, Chick Ciccolini Sr. He enlightened me to the world of editing. He was a great dad. He passed away this January at the age of 94. I know he would have been proud. And finally, I would like to thank my wife, Marilyn, who encouraged me and stood by me throughout the busy and lean times of this business. I know it isn't easy, but I'm grateful. Once again, thank you for such an honor.